Hi there beautiful Thrivers! Welcome back to another video with Thriving in Chaos. Today we're going to be doing our WTF Wednesday video, weekly tracking of finances. So thank you guys for being here. Click that subscribe button, like the video, and let's go! Hi everyone, I hope you guys are doing good. I know I was supposed to post another video yesterday. It was going to be decorating up my budget book, but plans changed. I couldn't film it, so I'm going to fit that in somewhere. It might land on December 1st. I don't know. We'll just have to see where the cards fall. <laughs> But I haven't gotten to that yet, but I cannot let my WTF Wednesday go delayed at all. We've got to unstuff some envelopes, pay back my accounts. I did Christmas shopping. I did all sorts of things, so we need to definitely reconcile that. And then on top of all of that, all of the bills are done for the month of November. So we need to empty out my bills binder for the new month and put all that money back in the bank. So that's how we're going to do this. I hope that you are here for it. It's going to be probably a little bit longer than a typical WTF Wednesday, but a lot of you say you like the longer videos. I don't know. Before we get started with this video though, let me go ahead and grab today's prompt -a card. If you're new to my videos, this is a prompt -a card. It's basically a conversation starter. So I'll ask and answer the question on the card in this video and you guys can put your answers in the comments below. It's just a little something to help us get to know each other better. So today's prompt -a card is, what is the one food you could eat for the rest of your life? Mm, gosh. I don't think there's any one food I could eat for the rest of my life. Like every day, if that's the only thing I could eat, I would get so sick of it. And that would happen with even my most favorite foods. If I just ate too much of it, I would get sick of it. But I guess if I had to choose one, it would probably be some type of breakfast food. Like mm, sausage biscuits and gravy. <laughs> Does that count as one food? I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough one. You guys, let me know in the comments below. What would you eat if you could only eat one food? All right. It is our WTF Wednesday time. Cannot wait to get this day going. Whew. All right. Let's see. We are doing the very last week of November. As you can see, I have not filmed that video where I need to decorate so that has to be this week slash weekend because I don't have my next WTF Wednesday day. So with that being said I'm not going to do a lot of explaining in this video just because it is pretty fairly simple to catch on. If you do have questions you guys are more than welcome to put it in the comments below. I do not um respond to comments in a timely manner unless I just happen to have a moment at that moment when I read your comments. Um, but I usually don't have a lot of time to respond to comments, but rest assured I am reading every single one of them. I check it multiple times throughout the day just to read your comments. I don't have time to respond to them at that moment, but I do read them all. And then when I do have time, I will usually go back and respond if I can, or at least love your comments so that you know I've seen it, but it does take a while. I'm the worst at comments. So just putting that out there, I'm the worst. All right. So if you have questions, all of that was to say, you can feel free to put them down in the comments below, but let's just go ahead and get started with this. It's going to be long enough without the chit chat even though I love chit-chatting with you guys. Let's start at the beginning. Um, so what I decided to do is I'm going to put every single Christmas purchase that we made into one group lump sum because if you can see the list, it, it, it's a lot. So I went one further and just calculated up everything that we spent on Christmas specifically and got a lump sum. And it was for, I'm just going to write Christmas here. We actually stayed within the budget that we had, because if you remember, I deposited $1,200 
to do my son, my daughter, my daughter, and my husband, and myself to get our gifts out of the way, which we now have done. And so that original cost was eleven ninety nine fifty nine. Mm -hmm. And um, our save the change because we did deposit twelve hundred, and we are going to be rounding up. I don't know why I put the original cost here. I usually don't do that. I was thinking I was filling that up. So we're saying twelve hundred even, and the original cost was eleven ninety nine fifty nine. So that's 41 cents that we're putting towards our save the change. I felt like that would be the best way to do it instead of having, I don't know, 50 different entries. I don't even have 50 lines, so we're not going to do that. All right, moving on. Um, I did also order my, um, my stickers for January. So I got all of my not only January stickers, but I got all of the stickers that I like to use to decorate up the book for the year. So I did go ahead and order those from Miss Casey Lee. So those should be arriving soon. I can't wait. I took advantage of that Black Friday deal. So this is going to be coming from Budget Supplies and my stickers um, tab, but I'm not going to write that. It was total 122. I knew I was going to go crazy and I did. <laughs> no regrets. The original cost though was 121.38. So 122 minus 121.38, which means we're putting 62 cents towards our save the change challenge. Moving on, we did do a little bit of grocery shopping, not too much. I still haven't done like a full on grocery shopping haul. And I don't know if I'm going to have time to. I swear, this time of year is crazy. Crazy. So 61 cents there. All right. And then we did another grocery purchase. Um, that was for 106 Don't know if getting the Blackstone for my husband so soon was a good idea. Because he is cooking some great food on it. And... It, of course, requires going and getting specific items and stuff. So that's what this ended up being. Like, ooh, let's make these. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's still groceries. It's still things that we would have bought. We're just doing individual, like, trips to it. Also, this is for a driver's license. My hubby had to re-up his driver's license. So this is going to be coming from car maintenance and that was for 27 even and then we have some more grocery purchases here and that was for 60 original cost was 59.55 so that's 45 cents we're putting towards our save the change on Tuesday of course we had our mental health therapy appointment and that was for 65 even and then we had another grocery purchase Ooh, this one was Philly cheesesteaks on the black zone amazing love it all right that was for 87 rounded up so 87 minus 86 46 that is 54 cents in the save the change challenge then we did have a peach pass come out for 20 and then we had groceries another grocery of two more no yeah two more grocery purchases on this day one was a grocery pickup I've been trying to participate in the grocery pickup as much as I can because Instacart has been doing, or Publix, I don't know, has been doing like, let me do this first. Apparently I can't do two things at one time. Okay. Um, but there's like, they do cashback rewards if you do a pickup instead of delivery, which I, you know, if I'm out and about, I'll do it. I don't know. And so that's what I've kind of been doing lately. 
and has been earning cash back unintentionally. So it's kind of cool. But it's not like cash back. It's just like a credit. And it just goes into the next grocery haul, I guess. Anyway, let's move on. That was all of bank spending. Actually, let me count them, make sure I got them. Yep, that's everything. All right, so now let's move on to our gas purchases. We have a credit card, so we use the credit card, or my husband does, for his gas purchases. And that is, on this day, he got $30 even. And then there's only one more, which is here. And that was four eighty-five. dollars No, not 85 Sorry, 2601. So we're going to round that up to 27, and that would be 99 cents towards our Save the Change challenge. And that's it. That's all of the gas that we got, I guess, because it is a holiday or it was a holiday for Thanksgiving. So we didn't do a lot of driving here um, other than to family. So anyway, so we've got our bank spending, which is our debit card. Our credit card spending, which we use for gas only right now. And that means, I guess we could, I don't know why I put this away, but I guess we could um, go ahead and add some things up. So in total, from our bank spending, we spent... one thousand nine hundred and seventy seven dollars for our credit card we spent fifty seven dollars cash spending we'll come back to so we know that we spent twelve hundred in total for our cash buffer so what i might do is do the nineteen seventy seven minus twelve hundred and do the seven seventy seven up here so I know this is like what we spent outside of Christmas. And then we'll just do the 1200 in Christmas buffer. All right, let's just go ahead and calculate up our save the change. So we have saved $5.70 this week. That's cool. All right, again, we'll do our cash spending when we get the trackers for that, and then we'll figure out if we need to borrow some of the account buffer for any of these purchases. But in the meantime, I will go ahead and use our very last no-spin sticker. I mean, I have other ones. If I ever choose to bring it back, I will, but I think I'm going to retire it for now. But I will go ahead and take a little bit of time and put these squares onto my um, purchases here just so I have a little check box that I can click and I mean click check off and um, you know keep track so I'm gonna do that off camera and then I'll set everything up and we will get started unstuffing some envelopes and of course first things first you guys are keeping me on track of being a good plant owner Every Wednesday, we got to water my panda ear cactus with just a little bit of water, nothing too crazy, and then call it a day. So, you guys are helping me keep her alive. I think she's doing okay. I don't know. I don't know. All right, you guys, are we ready? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's start with grocery. Totally forgot to put this up here. But let's go ahead and start with groceries. So let me add up what we spent in total in all of our grocery purchases. That is not what I told it to say. Okay. It's going to be one of those days, I see. 87, 90, and 85. So that is $543 in total we need to take. We have one, two, three, four, five hundred. Um, we'll do five fifty and we'll have to get some change. So 
I'm gonna write that down somewhere and change. Um, we're doing five fifty, so we need seven dollars and change. So I won't check this one off, but I will check these off. Okay, so we'll need seven dollars and change. When we get some change, we will. So that leaves us two hundred and twenty-one dollars. I hope that is going to get us through. For gas, we already calculated that up. That was 57. So let's do 20, 40, 60. And then we're going to owe $3 in change on this. Yeah. So we'll check that one off, but we will owe $3. We'll figure out the change situation later. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. So 190 in our gas. All right, anything else that we need to pull? I think Peach Pass. So we're putting a 20 out. So now we have 20 in. Alright, and I think that'll do it. Yep, for this binder. Let's go ahead and go to my short term binder. Okay, we do have mental health, so I'm going to go ahead and flip back here. 65, so 50. Actually, let's do this one 50, 60, and 5. That leaves 51, 52, 53, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 360, 365, 75, 85, 390. So that takes care of that. So we do have car maintenance, budget supplies, and Christmas. Let's do Christmas. Just because it's the next binder, let's see what we've got going on here. So, for Christmas, what we're going to do, since we spent all of the account buffer that we had in there, the Christmas account buffer, which was everything that we have in here that is prop bill, we'll take it all out. So, one, two, three hundred there. So, hubby is done. Wifey, three hundred. One, two, three, so that's nine hundred, no, six hundred. And then I'm going to leave my sons up here because I do have a 100, but I'm taking the 2. So 7, 800. And then same thing with my daughter, taking the 2. That's a 1,000, and we'll keep the 100. And then for my youngest, so 1,200, keeping the real money here for their cash gift. So now... Let's find out how much we have in Christmas left. I did finish all my kids shopping. I finished hubby shopping. I don't know if he's finished. Um, I'm pretty sure he's finished with the kids, but not. I don't know about for me. Um, I do have, let's see. We do already have plans for his family, and I still need one gift for that for my family. Um, because I did buy something when we were on vacation and I just used vacation money. So we may have a little bit extra there. I didn't do any kiddos, um, which are nieces and nephews. I do have two white elephant games. Um, both of those we got while we were on vacation as well. So we'll have a little extra money there too. I'm, I'm not going to get any decor this year. So I might move that over to food, but we'll see. So I'm taking this 1200 out. And let's see what we have left in our Christmas. So we have one, two, three hundred here in their cash gifts that I'm giving them. And then we have um, a hundred for his parents, a hundred for my parents. We have a hundred and forty for our nieces and nephews. We have games at two fifty. And decor is at a hundred. 
food is at 150, 70, 80, 190. So we have $1,180 left. And of course, we're still stuffing it with the paychecks. So, yeah, we're doing good. I'm glad to have at least my immediate family done. Um, I'll come back for trackers later. So that took care of Christmas. Let's move over to my business binder so we can take care of the stickers that I bought. So it was 122 and this is coming from my stickers. So I have 125 here. I don't think I have any ones at all yet. So I'm going to owe myself $3. So I'll write that down here all the change that I need. I'm not going to check it off yet. So I have $50 still left there, which I'll have to buy February stickers with, I think. Um, all right, so that took care of that. I do need change, change, change. So car maintenance is the last one. So let's go take care of that one really quick. That's in my reserves binder. Okay, car maintenance. This was hubby's um, I think his, did he get tags? He did, he got the tags. Okay, so we're, we're good then. Okay, then I'll pull this from tags. This is kind of like a registration in a way. Um, this was for, right here. Okay, 27. So 20, 30, we'll do that. So, oh, $3 there. All right, let's go ahead and take care of it. Let's take care of all of our ones situation. So I need three, six, um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I need eleven dollars and ones. So we'll just get 15 worth of ones. Just going to use our $1 savings challenge for that, which I've been doing. As you can see, it's much thinner up here because of that. So I just want the ugly ones, though, to be honest. Let's see what we can get. We got one, two, three... Four, five, let's see, six, seven, eight, nine, and we'll do this one as a ten. Okay. So we'll do 10 in here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, we'll exchange that. And then we'll grab out five ones here. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And this was quarter two. Okay. All right, so we have 15 ones here now that we can play around with. So let's start with car maintenance since we're here. So we owed three dollars. One, two, three. Put it right into tags. All right, and we did obviously have some cash spending, and we owed three dollars for change here. One, two, three. So 
So that handles that one and nothing paid there. All right, and the last two envelopes we owed in was groceries for seven. So I'm gonna pull this five, six, and seven. Okay, that takes care of grocery. And then for gas, we owed three. So one, two, three. And that takes care of that. So we've got everything checked off. Let me go ahead and grab the rest of these trackers. So I know we spent in here. And in the holidays, we spent as well. Okay, all right, so for cash spending, we spent $290 in the holidays. We spent $79 in grocery. Gotta love my hubby. This is my hubby. He took cash $100 and then brought back the change $21.42. <laughs> so um, I just redid it. So I would know. And then. This one we spent 280, 235, 55, and 95. So 665 plus 79 plus 290. All right, so $1,034 in cash spending. Which means we didn't take anything from account buffer, which is nice. Let me pop these back in where they go. And if you didn't figure it out, basically what I do is I just have a laminated budget sheet that I keep one in the back of every binder. So every binder I have has one. And I just write down the envelope we took money from and how much we took. So it just helps me to track cash spending. So, it's just what I have found that helps me keep track of that better. Okay, so in total this week, we spent a lot of money. We spent $777 from our bank spending and $1,200 from bank for our Christmas buffer. We spent $57 in our credit card for gas. And we spent $1,034 in cash. So in total, we spent $3,068. That's Christmas spending for you. So basically what I need to do now, I'm going to go ahead and grab my thumbnail. And then after that, we will put this money where it goes. And then we will move on to our bills section of this video. We're going to empty out some bill money and put it back in the bank where it goes. All right. So let me take that thumbnail really quick and we'll get to it. All right. So we need $57 to go towards our credit card. So I'm going to go ahead and separate that out. So 57 and since we're going to be emptying bills out, this is going to go straight to the bank to pay this credit card completely off. This is how we've been doing the credit card. So every week we just take the cash out that we spent and we saved for our gas purchases and um, just take out what we spent and, you know, deposit it back and pay the entire credit card off. So week four of November... Um, we said it was $57. So in total, we should have 159, 66, 104, and 57. So 383, if I did that correctly, I didn't even look. Let's see. 100, 200, 350, 70, 75, 76, 7, 8, 9, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86. Yep. All right. That's what it should be. Pretty sure. So 
that's our credit card. We'll come back to this in just a second. The rest of this is going into my back to the bank. We do have some money here because the kids have been buying their Christmas gifts as well, but we don't track that in with ours. But they do pay back what they spent. All right, let's add this in here. And this all will go to the bank back where it goes so we can beef up our account buffer again. And now I'm going to transfer over these numbers so that it's all in my one budget book. So I don't have to go back and forth. And as you can see, it is the last week of November. So let me transfer these numbers over. Bank spending, 777. Credit card spending, 57. Cash spending, 1034. Actually, I need to add, um, I think it's 1977. Yeah, so 1977 is total what we spent. And then at our save the change, we added $5.70. All right, we're going to retire this until next week. Or actually, it'll probably be this upcoming weekend when I do the new month of WTF Wednesday. So if you want to see how I achieve this look from these pages, check out that video when it drops. Okay. So 1507, 1977, so 3484. I'm going to put here Christmas, so I know. That's why this was always so high. All right, 329 and 457. So 386 in total for the credit card spending. Um, 2,559 and 1034 and cash spending is 3593. Somehow or another we spent more in cash than that. That's kind of awesome. So 1521 and $5.70 means we saved $20.91 just by rounding up all month our purchases and just letting our account buffer grow little by little, month by month. All right. So, total spent this month, we spent $34.84, $386.35.93. So, our total spent is $7,463. Total saved was $20.91. And our credit card payment this month, $386. All right, so there's our bottom numbers for the month, closing that out, which is nice. And I will pay the credit card as soon as I have this money deposited. Um, now let's go ahead and move on to our bills. So our insurance did come out for three ten ninety one. All of my bills are on auto pay, so I just like to make sure that they're coming out and see how much they are, make sure I'm saving enough for that. Our electricity did come out, and it was substantially lower, and I guess that's because it got colder, so we're not using any heat or anything, but nice. Um, Verizon came out. It was $321.45, and then the truck payment, which we don't have out. It stays in the account. It came out there, and then... Our um, credit card payment, what did we say it was? I already forgot. Already forgot. So 386 is what we're paying for that credit card bill. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to keep the purple since we're going to be checking these off as we pull the cash out. But let's go ahead and do it. Let's, let's pull this cash out. I'm going to move it over just a little bit. More room. All right. So, bills. This is what we're going to do. We're going to 
unstuff all of this bill money and um, hope we've got enough for all the bills that we've got going on here. All right, so I'm gonna start at the top with mortgage. It was 1234 rounded up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twenty, thirty, thirty eight. All right. Oh wait, it was twelve thirty eight. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight. Twelve thirty eight. Done. Netflix came out for twenty, rounded up. Done with that. Studio Paint did come out for, um, I think that's an eight. I can't even read my own handwriting. Uh, yeah, eight ninety nine, so nine dollars. So we're good with that. Um, Amazon, we do have two primes. I know, I know. <laughs> I will. Handle it one day, and you guys will y'all better throw me a party when I finally tell you. I only have one prime now. <laughs> All right, Spotify came out for 17, so 15, 16, 17. Um, our Hulu did go up this month, so it's a hundred now. Bank fees for five. Uh, stream, which is our gas, was 51. So I have this. I need nine dollars back. Let's just grab this nine. Wasn't this a nine? No, that was a seven. Eight, nine. Okay. All right. So we have nine dollars in change. So we're just going to put this back here in front of our buffer. Okay. And YouTube Premium, both of them came out. So we should have two 14s. By the way, that 10 that you guys saw me have extra at the end of the last video was actually $14. So I had put the four ones in the dollar savings challenge. It was supposed to go to my YouTube because I forgot to take this out. So it still was in here. So that's why it slipped my mind. So I just put it in my savings challenges. So here's the two $14 um, for YouTube premium. We'll put that here. So that is these two right there. And then next up we have... Uh, trash we're not taking out it stays until it's ready to come out which won't be until January um, $74 $75 for water it went up substantially like $15 more than normal so we've checked all the things we don't have a leak anywhere so I think that it's just gone up but we'll see when December does come out so that means we're gonna need to take from our buffer account so we needed $15 more because we've got 60 and it's 75 so this is why we have this buffer here and we've been letting it grow so 10 15 we'll do that and I'm just going to put all this in here because at this point we're kind of in the negative of buffer. So now we have um, 50, 60, 75. And that will cover the whole thing. And man, my phone is going off today. Popular. Okay, let's go back to where we were internet we have right here there it is it went up we have 105 that we save now for that 105 and then we have discord for 10 which we just so happen to have 10 
We have iCloud for 99 cents. My hubby's the only one that pays for extra storage. Insurance is 311. So 1, 2, 3, 10, 11. Electricity. This one should be fun. So it's 170. And we saved 350. So 350 minus 170 is 180. So 180 dollars needs to go towards the um, that. All right. So let's do this first. 170, which we can't do. So 170. We need 30 dollars back from 200. So 20. 30. So we should have 180 now. 150, 60, 70, and 80. 180. So that's going towards our buffer. Alright, and then last up is the truck, which comes out, or it's already come out actually. Oh, wait, no. We still have Verizon. All right, so the Verizon was 322, rounded up. So 100, 200, 50, 70, 90, 310, 320, 325, and then we owe three. One, two, three. All right, so overage for our Verizon bill. We saved more than we needed. We have 20, 40, 50, 65, 66, 7, and 68. We're adding to our buffer. All right, so now that takes care of everything. Let's see how much we're adding to the buffer today, which we were still a little bit low because I took... What did I take? I took 10... Lord, I don't even know anymore. Oh well. We'll just we'll just count this and say that's what the overage is. Alright. Our overage for this month is going to be counted very, very soon. Okay. We have 150, 70, 90, 210, 220, 30, 40, 245, 46, 47, 48. So $248 that we're adding to our buffer. And this is just when we have overages, everything that's over, I just put here in my buffer. And then once um, it reaches a certain amount, I don't know what amount, we might do something with it. So let's just see what we have in our buffer now in total. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1,000, 1,000, I mean 100, 50, 2, 53, so 1,320, 40, 60, 84, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, so 485, 46, 47, 48, 89, 90, so that's 490, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, Fifteen hundred and one dollars. Wow. Fifteen oh one. That's almost two truck payments. And now I totally forgot what we put as overage here. It will. All right. So let me do some math really quick. I'm going to calculate up how much our bills were and then um, see what our bottom line is see how we did okay so um, before truck 
we had a total of 2,489 dollars and 81 cents. I'm going to calculate it one more time just to be sure. Alright, and it is indeed that. Now, with the truck, it is $3,377.02. So I keep them separate because the truck is paid by the company, so I just always leave that in the bank account. Um, so this is all the bills that I I am responsible for, if you will, out of the main paychecks, because that's a whole separate paycheck that that comes out of. So that is, that's pretty significantly lower, and I think that it has something to do with the electricity, probably. And stream was a little bit lower. It's nice to see, like, the trends. That's why I like doing it this way, because you can see the trends throughout the year. As you see, we started with all of these bills, and towards the end of the year, I've managed to get rid of one, two, three of them, so that's good. Um, I don't know. I, I, you know, whatever. Okay, so we've got that done. I feel like I've closed out my budget as best as I can right now. So let's go ahead and put this in my back to the bank so that this can go. It's actually going to go into my billing account, which totally forgot. Wow, I almost did that again. Gotta get our credit card as well. So we can pay everything. So in total, I think we said, let me just count. 1, 2, 300, 350, 370, 375, 6, 7, 8, 9, 380, 81, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 386. Let me write this down so that I know what I need to pay. All right, I'll take that here. Okay, let's find out what we're going to be taking back to the bank. It's a lot, obviously and clearly, and these aren't even in order. Oh my gosh, okay. Let me do this really quick, off camera. <clears throat> All right, let's give this account, see how much we're taking back to my bank. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That is 2,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98. 10, 20, 25, 35, 45, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 69, 870, 871, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 78. So 2,800, no, 2,878, I think is what I ended up with right there. So that is the 2,489 there for the bills and 386 there for the credit card payment. This all needs to go to my billing account, so I want to keep that separately than what goes into my like my spending account. So this is spending account. I might just go ahead and put these in some zip bags so that I don't get them confused. So this is going to my spending account. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 50, 70, 90, 7, 10, 30, 50, 70, 80, 90. Um, what are we at? 800? I think so. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Um, 5, 10, 15, 25, 35, 40, 41, 2, and 43. So I think 843 there. Oops. I think. I'll recount it before I go, but 8. It's one of those days. So 
pinning account. <laughs> That'll make that easy for me. So, if you didn't catch on, I have two different accounts. One handles all my bills on auto pay. It also is where our paychecks drop into. And then I transfer over what I need. Um, like, for instance, if I were just keeping this money here, you know, and just repurposing the cash bills. But I'm not going to do that this time because this was a lot of money. And I totally forgot. I think it was like 20... 28 something. All right, let me count this off camera really quick. All right, so this is 28.98. Sorry, my handwriting. Just trying to get through this video as fast as possible. All right, so this is going to my billing account. So I'm replacing my second month, if you will back into my billing account. I have two months worth of bills in there, so that just replaces everything that just came out. And then we've got 843 to go back into my spending account to replace what we spent over the past week of online spending, replenishing up our account buffer for a new week. So I'm gonna head to the bank after this. But that is pretty much it, other than just going to my calendar here and plugging in these numbers, which I always, 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 always do. Did I just move my whole thing? I don't know. Feels like I did. All right. So let me plug these in really quick. Carlone 887. Um, I think it was... I just already put everything up to you. Look, I'm done already in my head. 21. All right. Phone was 321.45. Insurance is 310.91. Um, electricity was 169.68. And that took care of everything. Everything has check marks now. Yep. All right. So there was all of our bills done for the month of November. Look at us go. All right. So I did do my cash stuffing on Monday. Didn't do my prep for December, but we did do my WTF plus bills. Tomorrow, hopefully, we can go ahead and do our cash condense and sinking funds update. Um, so be looking forward to that and then on Friday I will try and drop my prep for December video hopefully it will either be Friday or sometime this weekend don't hold me to anything right now the holidays is just messing everything up for me okay that is it that's all I got for you I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope that it gives you a little bit of inspiration for your own budgeting journey or at least some more information about what this cash budgeting journey is all about and how it works with digital spending with that being said I will see you in the next video which hopefully will be tomorrow we will cash condense our sinking funds and all of our envelopes so that it's thinner and take some money to the bank if we need to but mainly to see what our sinking funds update is, how much money we've got going on for the month of November. So I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. And if you're still watching and you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to be your weekly inspiration for your own budgeting journey. We all have one, whether you do it or not. We all have a budget. <laughs> so let me be your weekly inspiration. I'd love to. And with that said, I will see you in the next one, guys. As always, until next time. Bye.